Hi, this is Doug Stewart from Wave Marketing Direct and welcome to the second tutorial on how to build a mini website using Dreamweaver MX. I should have just mentioned at the end of the first tutorial, if you're planning to use more than one web page on your site, what I suggest you do is once you've inserted your sales copy and your images onto your index page or your first page, is that you, you highlight everything and then you just delete it leaving you with the header image, the background image or colour and your table and that way when you come to open up a second page everything's there ready for you uh, so once you've deleted everything you just save it as template and then once you come to work on your second page just open up template and then you can just insert whatever it is you want to put in there i.e. downloads or um, disclaimer or contact details so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to highlight text which is quite an important aspect for websites. A lot of internet marketers use te this technique uh, to highlight key points or key phrases and sometimes even key paragraphs. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go on to another web page and just copy and paste some text onto our project. And if you've used front page in the past, you may have used the highlights in that. There's a little icon at the top in the toolbar that just allows you to uh, highlight using different colors. Unfortunately, Dreamweaver doesn't have an icon, which means that we'll have to use a CSS style in order to highlight our text. So what we need to do now is to come up to design, and it opens up a new CSS style box to change color. Also down the star box you can see that it's changed onto a highlight yellow. So just come out. So then we just come down to this little icon here that has the plus sign. Click on that and that opens up a new CSS style name box which we're going to call highlight for this particular project. And then we just click on this document only and then OK. Up here we have type, so at the moment we're using an Arial type font, so we're just going to keep with that, and the size is 18. And it also gives you a choice to underline your uh, phrase or your sentence or your words, just to give a double emphasis if you like. So we'll click on this as well, and then we need to come to background. Now the background colour is going to be our highlight colour, so we'll click on this, brings up the colour palette again, and I'm going to choose yellow. Yellow is a very popular colour for highlighting, it seems to be the, the brightest colour to use. So we'll click on apply, and as you can see now over the right CSS style box it's got highlight, it's also got the details of your font, um, and it's ready to go now, so just click on OK. Now what we need to do is just to come down to wherever it is you want to highlight, so in this case I'm going to do real deal. So you just hold your left mouse button down and then just drag across to highlight the, the area you want to, to, to highlight. And then right click on that particular area, come down to CSS style and then where it says highlight just click on that and as you can see now it's changed colour. It also down in the star box you can see that it's changed onto a highlight yellow. So just come out of it and you can see now that it's been highlighted and it's also got the underline as well. So that's how you highlight text using CSS style in Dreamweaver. In the next tutorial I'll show you how to insert a PayPal Buy It Now button, either one of PayPal's default buttons or if you want to use your own image I'll show you how to use that as well. So until then, take care.